Hey everyone, I'm Asia Dang and thank you for joining me on my channel. Now today we are going to do a little fun new video that I've never done on my channel. I am going to copy step by step Desi Perkins's quick easy brown smoky eye for beginners. Keyword here being beginners. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that I do a lot of beginner makeup videos just because I myself am a beginner. I am in no way a makeup guru. So I thought it would be really fun to do a video by a real professional makeup guru who claims their video is beginner to actually see if a tr real beginner can emulate what they do on their channel. So, I don't know, let's just jump on in. Here's the finished look. I mean, it looks great, but was it easy to get here? Who knows? Check it out, let's get into the video. Pew, pew. And in honor of Desi, I actually put on some press on nails, cause you know, she has those claws. I don't know, we'll see. This could be dangerous. This is this could all be a disaster, people. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hey. So today's video is gonna be a makeup tutorial on this look. I really love this makeup look go because closer? it's so easy. It's a good look for beginners. It doesn't require a lot of products. Let's and see. what I love about the eye look is that you can interchange the lips to really any lip color. If you wanna do something a little bit more evening, you could do a bold lip, a red lip, I like a that. lip. The world is your oyster. I like that. So, I'm, a, I'm actually a lipstick person. I would prefer to do more bold lip than bold eyes and stuff. So you guys are interested. if I can knock this shit down, I'll be golden. So oh, primer. MAC Prep and Prime. I'm going to take a blending brush and make sure it gets all over the lid and the crease evenly. Because if you don't even it out, your eyeshadow is going to look patchy. I don't have primer for my eyes because I just... No one ever needed, I guess. So I guess I'll just use concealer. Oh my God, it's the pot concealer from NARS and I already have it all up in my nails. This people is going to be a wreck. <laughs> so I guess I'll just... And she said to blend it. What pencil did you use to blend it? Okay, so I guess and then we'll just... Blend it so tis not patchy. Ooh, I need to get my brows done. If anything, at least it evened out my eye, my eyelids too, right? Okay, good start, let's go. Then we're gonna quickly set easy? the base with a bone colored shadow, or bone? you can use translucent powder. Translucent this powder is I have. Block okay. type by MAC, which I heard they're discontinuing. Is bone colored shadow like white or is it cream? What does that mean? So I would assume it's a shimmery, so I'll just use this IT Cosmetics naturally pretty essentials palette i guess in transforming hello light is that bone am i just dumb do i just not know anything <laughs> probably up on the brow bone to the crease does that look like anything it's always so hard to tell because when you don't wear a lot of makeup it seems like they put on a lot more than you would think that you would need if that makes sense. Also got some dandruff over here, so that's always attractive. Dandruff to match this transforming hello light. Nice. So I think she's gonna actually start jumping into the eyes. Before I do that, I'm gonna add some tape because for me the hardest thing when I do my eyeshadow, <laughs> if I were to do eyeshadow, is to how people always get like that really nice sharp effect. I always end up like not going far enough or going too far and it's just a mess. Okay, I feel that looks even. So we'll just, let's just go. Let's just do this. Let's jump right on For in. For this look, we're gonna be using the Suva Beauty palette and this is the Neutral Necessity palette. So we're gonna be using basically just these two colors. This okay. color here, which is Night Market and this one, which is Hookah. I'm gonna be using the Pixie It's Judy Time palette. Uh, these are all just, things that I already have. To me, what it looks, the Crazy colors look. she's using, these two colors, I think. This is Good Morning and Brick. So, oh, these are the two. Ugh, again! With the Smith 247, the Smith blending brushes are A absolutely everything brush. in life. Okay. You guys haven't tried them, they're great. I have not tried them. I'm gonna tried be picking them. up the lighter brown of the, the shades. The lighter brown. And we're so just gonna start this. placing that into the crease. Placing that into the crease. I'm okay. gonna start off with a little eyeshadow, of course, and build it up. Okay. And almost blend it, like, so it fades into nothing up here. Okay. Bring it out. 
It's okay if you get it onto your lid because we're gonna actually pack the whole lid with this light brown color as well. For my brows today, I've been using the It Cosmetics Universal Taupe Brow Pencil and I've really oh, been Oh, she did her brows? It. Okay, I have that too. Let me do that real fast then. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. Can you tell? Can you guys even see the difference? And pick up the same brown that we used in the crease. And okay. we're going to pack that on all over the lid. This okay. is such a pretty brown. It's like my new favorite brown eyeshadow. I think that's enough, right? Brown shadow in the palette. And I'm picking this up using a Delium Tools 772 brush. Okay. We're just going to pack it on onto the outer V. Outer V. The darker shade, this guy. Pack it on to the outer V. Pack, 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 pack. I'm gonna blend out the edges. Blend out the edges. I always wanna do the heavy blending of the edges with a clean blending brush. That's key. Okay. Always key so that your eyeshadow doesn't look super crazy. I don't know, man. This just looks like one color to me. Do I need to go darker? I'm just gonna go just a smidge darker and maybe use this. Just a baby bit. Baby, 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 baby. Did that make a difference? It's also hard to tell with my tape. See, does that look too high? No, it looks pretty good, right? I don't know. So she's using Armani. I'm using Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. This is medium coverage, but I just got these and a lot of you on Snapchat wanted me to test them out, so we are today. Dune and Linen. Together with my, this is my beauty blender from e.l.f. I, I like it. And it's like two cents. So this foundation is definitely medium to heavy coverage. Um, I usually do light coverage, but um, since we are doing a Desi look, might as well go for broke here, right? Going down the neck as well. Yeah, you can start to see it's, it's covering up, starting to cover up. Um, some of my freckles and my redness. And I'm using ginger in the nice pot. It has a little bit more warmth to it, so cancels out those hollow shadows. Okay. The rest of it, so go ahead and set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Oh, I've never actually baked before, so this should be fun. Uh, I too have the Laura Mercier. So is she using a wet like beauty blender? Bake it. it just gets less oily. Sometimes okay. Dry, baking looks terrible on me, but right now it's been going okay for me. So, oh wow, they use a lot. Medium, and also just down the nose, wait a couple minutes, and then go ahead and take a nice fluffy brush, one that's not too dense. You want it to be extra soft. Just ah, that way. This one is the uh, Sigma Tapered Highlight Brush. It's really nice. So, so you kind of just have to go in nose, on it to. Mine isn't as prominent as hers is. We'll use this guy. There's not really much to brush away anyways. I didn't I don't think I did that much. So I think I'll use this it cosme I'm using a lot of it cosmetics today. Uh, anti-aging armor. Basically it's gonna give It's really pretty, but I'll use this color. She's using a fluffy brush. So light and fluffy. So I guess I'll try and use this. I'm gonna use Kevin Aquan Tropical Nights Cool Bronze. I love this one. Okay, maybe. Does that look like anything? She's got blush. I guess I'll do this. I like it. It's okay. We're coming together, people. We are coming. Together, I have the BH Cosmetics highlight palette. My fingerprints in there, but I have not used them on my face. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix Star Glow, which is a little bit of a peachy shade, and Moon Gleam, which is a more white based highlight. Okay, so maybe I'll do Dream and Eat. I'm just going to apply that with a fan brush. So maybe I'll do these two. A fan brush. Sometimes I'll just go back into the MAC uh, 137 to blend the highlight out just a little bit if I get a little carried away. 
which is always. Going back into the light brown color from the Suva Beauty eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to use the Joseph Colors pencil brush. This is my favorite pencil brush for the lower lash line. Is this a pencil brush? unlike a lot of pencil brushes I own, which are really stiff, this one is a little bit more soft. Oh, this is a good so one. it blends the eyeshadow out really well. It's almost like a very small miniature blending brush. I'm going to smoke the lower lash line out with this color. Smoke, surprise. smoke it out. out. my lower lash line. It's unheard of. Is that what this is? The under the waterline with a dark shadow, I'm using Cypress Umber. And this is from the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. Press, we're pressing. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay, Des. Me like. Fit highbrow. This is really, like, bright. It's not super white. I'm using like, Pixie Eye Bright, eye bright okay, Liner. Line really well. This is actually a underbrow highlighting product, but it works so well on the waterline for me. Okay. So, like, crazy that. Oops. By placing that light color in the waterline, it just kind of makes your eyes pop. Just gives you a really cute little... So I had to go to Target. I had to go to Target yesterday and I got these the Ardell double up lashes because I feel like these are the most dramatic ones that were available at Target. Right? These look very desi. -y. We have a situation over here. So I actually normally have um, eyelash extensions. So this is, I haven't put on false eyelashes in a super long time. This is an interesting feeling. It's doing lower lash falsies. I can't be doing that, so I'll just do this. I got a couple of these that I like. I'm thinking maybe Elf or M. I don't know, let's do M in Rose Nude. I really like um, the M Cosmetics look, uh, matte lipsticks. M Cosmetics is vegan, by the way. Oh, this might be a little bit more dark than her nude, but oh well. That should be my catchphrase for this series. <laughs> oh well. This is the finished look. It was actually really easy to do. It was definitely a great beginner video. If you are a true beginner like myself, I feel like it has to be said that you do have to put on a lot more makeup than you would normally do. But this is a really beautiful, fun look if you wanted to, for me, if I wanted to like go out for a date or something at night. But I'm gonna be rocking this at brunch today, so we shall see how it goes. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys found this enjoyable and informative. Um, I don't actually follow that many true makeup beauty gurus. I follow Desi and Crispy, uh, Roxette, and um, Tenny, and Iman. If there's any other people that you would love for me to follow, or if there's any videos in particular, any beginner videos that you would like me to try, just let me know in the comments. All the products that I use in this video will be in the description box. I'm Asia Dang, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.